Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank for today, and today we're doing well. Boys and girls, I'm glad that you asked, because today we are taking a look at the Community Crunch 409 um, introduction of the X back the Chronos, uh, I am probably butchering that name, so Battle Lake here uh, from Arc Editions. Now, this is the Prana, uh, do you want to say Prana? I don't know if you want to say Prana, but um, it is the Big Fish from Arc Editions, which I have done a mod review on Arc Survive Evolve, um, but this creature, along with also a, uh, another creature, I think I did do a video about that as well, uh, but this one and a few other Belugas, I think that's his name, I'm sorry if I don't remember his name, uh, but I think that is his name, a Belugas uh, Mods, uh, which is coming official to Arc Survival Ascendant. No, it said it was not coming to Arc Survival Evolve, which pretty sad but uh they are coming to arc ascendant officially now so we're gonna be having a bunch of these awesome modded creatures come into the game probably a little bit like a buff or maybe well not necessarily a buff but nerfs to some of them like the brachiosaurus the um acrocanthosaurus uh, source i think that's what it is oh i i don't remember what that thing is called um, the bunch of his creatures from his mod is going to be making its way to Arc Ascended a fishery. So, um, that's going to be some exciting news there. Uh, but so far, it's been only got news on two of them, which, like I said, sorry, I didn't get the, um, the video out about the other one, but I'm going to try to do this one. So, yeah, uh, this creature is going to be coming out, um, here coming soon, hopefully. Uh, that would be sweet to see these things. Um, maybe Wildcard is probably going to do something to them. Not sure what kind of maps these thing guys are going to be on. If they're all going to be on like every single map. But then how is that going to work with the... Uh, what is that cre creature's name? I'm sorry for that. Um, there's a creature that barrels in sand. And that thing doesn't really work for the island map. Uh, I think the mod... Even with the mod on Arc Survive will evolve, uh, the creature will not. Sp I don't think it will. Um, but I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, it does not spawn on the island map on Arc Survive Evolve or even Arc Ascendus mod. Um, it will spawn on Scorched Earth or on any map that has a desert. Desert. So, how is it that creature is going to be added? Not really sure. Uh, but not sure how all these guys are going to be added. So yeah, uh, I guess let's take a look at this Community Crunch. Um, this is right here. Welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. I remember th um, when we announced the Kreata Source. Kreata Source. Oh my goodness, I'm probably butchering that name so badly here. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want that. No, no, <laughs> oops. I think we were just making a big mess up here. Um, the the Kreata Source. Uh, which is again is the other creature from Arc Editions. Uh, so that was the creature last time they announced that is common, which is coming soon. Um, here in um May, yeah, this is May, right? Yeah, May. Um, coming here is pretty soon in May. Might be already out. I don't know. Um, uh, is being introduced into the core game in the last. Community crunch. Well, get ready because the the fearsome. Oh my goodness, X X X me was. Uh, I'm butchering that name so badly here. Is next. Even though we may make a few changes to this design of the uh, creature from Arc Editions, this beasts are going to shake up the game in mid. May. So this thing is coming out in mid May. Okay. Um I think the this guy right here is coming out in May. Um it might already be out. It might, I mean Arkson might have already had, I know Arkson just got an update, so it, this thing is probably already in Arc Ascended. So but this guy's coming out in mid May, so um sometime in mid May. Okay. Uh which of uh Garuga's I I, okay, I might have gotten his name right. Uh, creatures, are you hoping to see it get uh, integra uh, integrated? Um, so yeah, uh, which ones would you guys want to see? 
Well, would you like to see the bracket? Now, that would be amazing, though. How are they going to do the bracket if uh, <laughs> the bracket does have a big old stump, which does big damage? Um, are they like going to reduce the damage the bracket does? I'm not sure. But the introduction of x ray torse, a hungry eye, bigger appetite. So, yeah, this thing is freaking cool, though. I gotta say, myself, um, fully awesome creature within the Ark Edition because this thing can grab hold of any sea creature, um, bite on them. It, and they, I believe they also get a, um, pack buff as well, where if you have more than just one, you'll get a pack buff, which boosts the pack leader, um, and stuff like that, so that's, that's, would be something cool to see inside the game, uh, be aware of the open ocean for their lark shallow, shallows of, Ek oh my goodness, I am probably butchering that name so freaking badly here, I am so sorry, Beluga, um, recently aggressive fish, with apparent bigger than their, wait, did I say that right? Appetite, no, I didn't say that right. Appetite bigger than their bodies. These uh, versus predators will blindly, blindly attack anything in sight. Oof. I mean, as we already know as is in Arc Oceans, even in Arc Ascended, their oceans aren't really that much, I mean, uh, they're not, how can I put this, to be pretty nice to Arc Ascended, even with Arc Survival Evolve, the oceans just seem blah. The only way you're going to get any kind of, like, unique flavoring out of their oceans, if you add them on. But with this guy being added, that well, at least gives us some kind of cool ability to have something new in the ocean to play with. Instead of having a mod, um, especially for those players that don't want to, like, use mods and just want to play official, um, arc without any mods. I mean, okay, I'm not a person like that because I love my mods, uh, but this case for those players that do want to play arc without the mods and stuff like that. There you go. You got this thing coming out, which making the oceans a little more deadly. Though, are they going to be keeping their uh, pack buff? I really don't know. Uh, where were we? Uh, in sight. Uh, so you need to act fast or become their next meal. They tend to become even more fierce in a pack. Okay, so that means they are, looks like they are definitely keeping the pack bonus uh, with these guys. So that means they're going to get a pack buff like they did do in the mod pack. So stay on your toes. That's very pretty funny the arc. How are you supposed to stay on your toes when you're in the ocean? Hmm? Unless you stay on your flippers. Yeah. Or just don't go in the ocean at all. <laughs> That's uh, one of the two, but me, personally, I'll probably be definitely in the ocean looking for these guys. Uh, because I am a huge ocean lover. I love the ocean. Who doesn't? But then I guess some people doesn't like the ocean in the arc. Uh, because of the Megadons, just like constantly at you and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, looking ahead, uh, we're always uh, eager to hear which creature you're most excited to see from the Arc Editions mod. You can stay uh, uh, directly connected to the uh, latest update and engine with the development process by joining, well, of course, uh, Garuga's Discord server, which, if you guys want to join or want to look at this without my commentary, uh, I'll be leaving a link of this down below, so the way you guys can take a look at this by yourself without my commentary. Um, and then we have another premium mod, uh, which, uh, mod Spotlight, which is the In Life uh, Survival Sky World uh, premium mod, which will cost you, a brief $10.00 at that, um, so yeah, I'm not sure, I don't have it, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing this type of mod, but, uh, yeah, uh, download and play a new custom content created by players, including new maps, um, creatures, items, and game mode, though a, uh, dead, deceased, 
new mod browser um, directory within the game. Enjoy an endless stream of new arc content as the uh, creative creativity and talent of the community is fully unleashed for the first time across gaming platform and stay tuned as we spotlight more cross-platform mods each week okay uh well here today there guys there is this new kind of mod that is coming in which is a premium mod which you do have to pay though for now i haven't seen any premium mods for arc ascended on console though apparently they are going to be doing that sometime soon so expecting to see some paid content of mods though is this really going to be a good thing don't know i really don't know i uh, really don't know how good it is going to be um seeing paid content mods but then i mean i don't i'm not trying to say mod developers shouldn't get paid for making awesome mods a lot of mod modders has made awesome mods like um Balug garuga garuga here he's made some really awesome creatures with his mods i would recommend getting his mods if you're looking for something with a vanilla kind of um style to it i would say get garuga's um arc editions mods and it because they're coming to arc ascended officially that really, does that mean you really don't have to get the mods well if you want to play the mods before they come official yeah but and once they become official, you really don't need the mods, do you? I don't think so. Don't think so. But, yep, premium mods. Um, Culture Survival Sky World by Lock North World. And then Froggy Forgolar by Snowy Train. Okay, I'm probably butchering those so badly. I am so sorry for butchering your names. Um, live, live Ops Update. Of course, this is about the Life Ops update. On April 8th, we have developed a new type of survival across the network for the various game types that we refer to as x -Price, which is what you can search for in the season filter. Never heard of this. Um, these are server servers will be online until 10 a.m. to P PST through 1 p.m. EST on June 1st. So June 1st, huh. It's not, this is not familiar, June. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know June doesn't sound like a big thing, but for me it is. Uh, well, I'm not going to really say it today. Uh, we're primarily using our account creation for the center to Host some additional seasons. Ooh, does that mean the center is coming? Nice. The center map. That players can travel in onto ooh, from tame and experience the Scorch Earth gameplay. The same transfer uh, recent recitation applied in that you are only able to download your character, but you can feel freely take anything off this is it to help reduce load of some of the other servers or provide players or any operations for those who just want to jump onto scorch earth temporary yeah, that's pretty nice so that means we are going to be seeing the center sometime soon and i'm guessing this means the uh, new game mode as well huh okay that's not bad. Then Twitch News, uh, Arc Ultimate Server Edition, 50% off. Uh, Arc Ultimate Survival Upgrade, 50% uh, off, in which uh, sales ends on May 27th. Um, Natrado Switch. Oh, wait, Natrado. And Switch. But is Arc Ascended on Natrado? I don't think it is. Um. Well, I'm not talking about Arc Survival Evolved, but I don't think... Okay. Um, we are pr uh, pleased to announce that Genesis Part 2 
is now entering um, subordination with Natrado and will release on Monday, July 1st, um, alongside the Rinathis, which will be found spawning around the island. So this, I'm guessing, guys, is for any of the um, uh, Switch players for Arc Survival Evolve, because as far as my knowledge goes, Arc Survival Ascendant isn't on Switch, and Arc Survival Evolve on Switch doesn't even have Genesis or the Renathus, which is the gigantic bug. And again, this by here is telling us about a 50% off on May 27th. So, um, and be ready for launch. So, yeah, 50% off and on May 27th for launch. So, that means Genesis Part 2 is coming to Arc Survival Evolve on Switch. Um, of course, there's going to be servers that you can find for Switch from the throttle. Uh, yeah, okay. That's pretty good news then for uh, Arc uh, Survival Evolve for Switch. So, are they going to need more updates? Probably the, uh, the cartridge on the source in there um, for Switch, but that's great news. Bonus rates on the official network, which means Arc Ascended. Bonus rates on the official network, May 10th through May 13th. PvP to PvE, two times harvest, uh, taming and experience and breeding. Small tribes is 4.5 times harvest, taming and experience, and four times breeding. Um, Arc Apocalypse, five times harvest, taming and experience, and breeding. And again, this is telling us everything about it, um, what we just said. So yeah, that is pretty good if you're a person that likes playing Arc Five Ascended on either PvP, PvE, two times, everything looks like. Of course, small tribes, if you're a small tribe, and I guess both PvP and PvE, you know, 4.5 4 times the three of the stuff and four times breeding, and then Arc Apocalypse if you're playing, I think those type of servers, five times everything. So that is pretty good, pretty good. And community corner, and that looks like it's it, yeah, because uh, that is other YouTubers right there uh, has been doing Arc Ascended. But the biggest thing I gotta say out of this for me has to be this, this, this thing, whatever his name is, uh. X X V Actornos. Oh my goodness! I am probably butchering that name so badly. I am so sorry if I'm butchering that name. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this community crunch. Looks like uh, for Arc Ascended and or even a little bit of Arc Survival Evolve. Huh. I mean, on Switch, I don't think Arc Ascended is on there yet, and I definitely know Genesis is not coming to Arc Ascended yet. That's like way down the road still. So. Yeah, this is different for Arc Survival Evolve and Switch. At least they're still getting updates for Arc Survival Evolve and Switch. I mean, if you have to ask me which one's the better one, well, a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I would have to say Arc Survival Evolve is still better. Yes, okay, Arc Survival Evolve still has bugs, but come on, guys. If Arc Survival Evolve doesn't have those bugs, We'll probably wouldn't have nothing to complain about, do we? But still, I would say Arc Survival Evolve, in my own opinion. I really love the game, and I really think the game is fine. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of these types of bugs, but we have come to live with them and love them. So, yeah, uh, that's only in my opinion. Now, Arc Ascendant is not a bad game. Um, the only thing in my... Now, don't be hating on me because I'm going to say these. Uh, Arkansas, yes, I understand it does bring in a better graphics engine to the game uh, for Arc, but also it does bring in a few other different types of different details for the game. And for console players, this is the best thing for console players, they can get to play with mods. Now, otherwise, from that, you take all that away, you still basically have Arc's Life Evolve within. The newest Arc version. So, but just with Arc Ascended at this moment, there's not a lot of great content to read to cover. Um, right now, just went two maps with the center coming out, basically three maps of being 
most content, but yeah, I guess you could say there's mods and premium mods, but how much does those mods really bring you um, to have fun? Now, I was saying mods are awesome. I love mods. I am a huge person that loves make not making. I haven't made my own mod yet. I really am going to try to get that done. Um, sometimes, you know, I hope. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it, but uh, not making no promises here. Uh, but definitely, I do think um, mods are a good thing for ARK, uh, especially at this time of need. But what about those players that don't like playing with mods? How is ARK Ascendant going to keep those players involved? That's my question. Yeah. But I'd like to know, that, you know guys, what do you think? Are you excited for this new creature coming to fishery and the other creature, which is this guy right here? Are you excited for these two things coming to Ark Ascended? Or which other creature would you like to see from Garuga's uh, mods? Do you like to see the uh the Bront uh the not Bronto Yeah, the Bronto, okay. Uh the Brachiosaurus or the Arc Arcosaurus or do you like to see the big elephant from it? I forgot the name of the creature, or the ice and the desert um the other two creatures, or maybe the turtle as well. I think it would be cool to see too, because they can um, gather jellyfish and it's immune to jellyfish stunts, so that's a pretty cool effect. And then able to tame it, though, you must kill a jellyfish, so, hmm, okay, that's pretty cool. But which one are you excited for? I can say which of the other creatures within the additional creature mod are you excited to see that will probably come to Ark Ascended? Sometime in the future. Maybe we'll see them all. And maybe even the newer ones, which um Garuga has made a new mod uh for simply for Arc Ascended, which is a premium mod, which I think it's like five bucks. I might try that out. Um who knows? But yeah. Uh I'd like to know guys what you think about this guy coming to Arc Ascended a fishery, along with the other creature as well, a fishery. Um, and which creature do you want to see from the additional creature mod as well coming to Ark Ascended as official creatures? At least now the ocean is seems like it's going to be getting some love, and I think that's a big thing for Ark. But that's going to be it for this video, there, guys. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.